The scene at the site is almost apocalyptic. Everything in ruins. Human body scattered after yet another explosion accident rocked a quarry site in the western region. We have three local guys who are here who are dead. They are bent beyond identification and recognition. Uh, we have one Chinese lady who is also passed on. You can see the body part scattered all over. Uh, and then there are others who are not unidentified, unfounded now. So we are trying to see uh, as quickly as possible if you can get a machine to try to look for where they are, because it could be possible that somebody might be tracked down there, but not dead. Uh, we can confirm that four people have died. Uh, the original hospital, at Ifian Kwanta, six of the victims were sent there, four were treated and discharged almost immediately, but two are currently in critical condition. But the doctors and other health staff are doing everything possible to uh, save them. The accident occurred on Saturday night and has so far claimed four lives, including three Ghanaians and a Chinese. Four other Chinese nationals are unaccounted for. Eyewitnesses say the accident occurred around 10 p.m. last night, accompanied by a deafening explosion that could be heard as, as far as in neighboring communities of Antu, Dampiman Kwanta, Ohiamadrin, and Abosu. Like I told you myself when I got up, my ceiling was on me. When you go to the next uh, community, Ohiamadrin, my chief there, his livers, everything is down. When you go into the communities, as far as Supomudunkwa, you could see the impact very far away, but they all had an impact with regard to this kind of blasting. I had a call from Shama, so the impact in the community is, is very huge. The human resource manager of the quarry, Lucas Ampon, says there were 22 people on site at the time of the accident. It happened around 10 p.m. Okay, I was actually at home and then one of my welder called Emmanuel called claiming there is a kind of disaster around, so I have to quickly come around. And then to be sincere, I met my security men, four of them, uh, injured, that are already being carried, sent, and then they are being sent to, what do you call it, the hospital. And then the, we found three dead bodies, two guys and then a lady. And then from the look of things, the lady actually isn't my worker. Uh, she came to visit a worker of mine. The accident comes a year after another explosion accident in the western region killed several people in Apieti. Western Regional Director of the Environmental Protection Agency, George Diowo, says initial investigations are underway to establish the cause of the explosion. What we are also hearing is that there were explosions uh, kept on where they were not supposed to keep an explosive. And unfortunately, it was closer to their uh, uh, accommodation area. Uh, we're trying to reach management. But unfortunately, the owner of the quarry uh, from our investigation is reported to have been involved when he's dead. So we are trying to get uh, some of the management to give us clearly what really transpired here. While that happens, another community is counting the cost of yet another explosion accident that has killed, injured and left fatalities in rooms. And inevitably, it will lead to more questions about the supervision of explosives in a region where they are used often for vital economic activities. Pa Kojo Peters for TV3 News in Anto Aboso, Shama District.